and welcome back to Metal Dead. Um, in our last episode, we had just taken our best friend's head to the doctor, and he had done uh, some alterations to him, and we now have our friend's head in our pants, as well as a key card. So we should now be able to use the elevators. So, let's see, if we get out the key card, the card is meant for the elevator's card slot, okay? Instead of trying the card on random objects, I should use it in the elevator, oh, in the elevator, okay. Alright, let's try using our hand. There we go. All right, this should take us to the lobby. I don't know why it switches us to the boot. L for lobby. Finally, some good luck. There's supervisors in here. I hope these ones aren't crazy. I'll go talk to them. Hey guys! Alice! Look out! Ah! Stop firing! I haven't seen one of them things talking before. That's because he's alive, kid, you idiot! I'm alive! I'm alive! No thanks to Ken here. He looked like one of them undeads. Lower your gun, would you? Sorry about that, mister. We all do some no good things now and again. Who are you, stranger? I'm in need of a change of underwear. I'm in need of a change of underwear. Sorry again. Seriously though. I'm Malcolm. Malcolm Campbell. Nice to meet you, Malcolm. I'm Alice. This moron here is Ken. Hey! I ain't no moron. Yes you are. How the hell did you get in here anyway? I came through the basement. And this doctor, Dr. Feckenheim? He gave me a card for the elevator. That weird old Fruit Loop? I heard he's up to all sorts of weird goings on down there. You heard right. Unfortunately, we are not in charge here. A cop came in here. Acting all high and mighty soon after the undead showed up. He acts like he's in charge just because he's got a badge. But instead of him being out here guarding the door, he's hiding in the security room like a big old pussy. We might be just security guards, but we're the ones keeping this place undead free. I can see that. You're doing a good job of shooting anything that moves. I told you I was sorry. We're supposed to send anyone who shows up to check in with Officer Stewart. Just go up that hallway to the left of the elevator. Before you do anything else, will you stop interrupting? Anyway, you'll have to check in. No problem. I'll be back soon. this. It's a model of the Medi Jenny Tech building. I love model buildings. I want to get in there and smash it up like a kaiju. Yeah, me too. That sounds like fun. Alright. Let's... Put our walking boots on. Go to security. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should be looking at stuff. Wow. That is seriously brutal. That door leads to the security room. Stop right there, punk! I'm not a punk, I'm a metalhead! Punks, emos, hipsters, gangsters, trolls, leprechauns, metalheads! 
You're all the damn same to me. Now stick your hands in the air and spread them. I'm not spreading my legs. Don't be afraid, nothing's gonna fall out. Now what's the password? <laughs> Anti-disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> Wise guy, huh? You think I'll let you in because you know a big word? Well, you're wrong! Get out of here! Don't come back to you! Have the password! They didn't tell me anything about a password. All I'm here is an excuses, son, and you know what they say. Excuses are the nails that build a house of failure. I have no idea what the password is. I admire your willingness to admit your faults. But you know what that makes you? A weak, useless Nancy boy. Failure! And I've got no room for failures in this operation. Now scram, punk! Okay, I guess we better go back and find out what the password is. Alice, did you check in with Officer Stewart at the security room? Not yet. What are you waiting for? I need a password to get into the security room. A password? Can you believe that cop guy? What does he think this is? Special Ops? Jeez. Just tell him Ken sent you. Ken sent me? Should I be wearing a laser shoot? <laughs> huh? Never mind. Uh, let's just go. Good luck, Malcolm. Don't go and get your brains chomped on you here. Uh, I'm a walkie. Yes, indeed. I'm a walkie. Nope, not the elevator. Security! Stop right there! It's me again. Oh, look who it is! It's the walking stack of failure! Yeah, that's me, alright. Well, son, have you got the password? Or are you just gonna stand around? Making pathetic excuses all day. Ken sent me. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Come right on in! That was easy. <laughs> What's your name, son? Uh, Malcolm Campbell? I can't hear you, soldier! Malcolm Campbell! Are you stupid, or are you just making a special effort today? I am your superior officer, son. I suggest you address me as such. This isn't boot camp. Might I remind you which one of us has a gun? Sir! That's better. I am Officer Stewart. And I'm in charge of this mission. Do you have a problem with that? No, sir! That's what I want to hear. Oh, yeah. Can I have a gun? Can I have a gun? Do you have a firearms license, son? I don't. Under Firearm Control Regulation Act of 1975, I can't, in good conscience, supply you with a weapon. You know how bad I'd feel if you were to injure yourself as a direct result of my negligence? Terrible? Wrong! I wouldn't feel bad at all. In fact, I'd put a smile on my face all the way from here to Baghdad. You still ain't getting a gun, though. It was worth a try. Uh, okay. So, what's the mission? We are in phase two of the mission, son. It's about time you are brought up to speed. What was phase one? What was phase one? 
Phase one was Operation Stiff Crusher. Interesting name. What did that entail? You mentioned that Kane sent you. That boy has a 22 caliber intellect in a 357 Magnum world, but he follows orders like a trained puppy that has been promised leftovers from yesterday's pastry. I'll expect you to do the same. Uh, I'll try. If you want to get out of here alive, you absolutely will. As for phase one, I instructed Ken and Alice in an undead cleanup, using the military strategies I learned in the Gulf. I led our small team to victory. Had the front doors barricaded and secured the lobby area just in time to have breakfast burritos for a job well done. You must be proud. If it weren't for my presence here, you would have been skinned alive and raped by the undead. Well, thanks, I guess. Okay. What is phase two? Phase two consists of Operation Escape. Creative name. That's where you come in. Great. Tell us? What is phase two? Okay. You gonna tell us what it is? Uh alright. Why aren't you out there helping? Isn't it cowardly hiding in here? While the others stand guard out there? I will not tolerate this insubordination, son! Every operation needs an expert strategist. Sure. I can kill a man with my bare hand! I will reach down your throat and upend your colon. I get the point. The next time you question my authority, son, I'll flatten the floor with your skull. Never mind. Never mind! That attitude is what's wrong with your entire generation. You punks make me sick. Okay. Just tell me what I need to do. You see that incapacitated fellow on that makeshift bed over there? I was going to ask you about him. Well, I'll save you the trouble. He's our golden ticket out of here. That man is a trained helicopter pilot. In a situation like this, he's worth his weight in bacon. There's a helicopter on the roof. And what you need to do is make your way up there. Take the access card from that card cleaner over there. It'll take you to the nurse's station on level 6. But there's no card in the machine. Oh. When you get to the nurse's station, you'll gather as many supplies as possible. There may even be remaining medical personnel up there. And this man needs medical attention immediately. Why is it me who has to do this? I haven't slept properly for weeks. I was in a car crash. My friend died. I was sent on a bizarre errand by some crazy doctor. I've been shot at. And now this. I'd like to see things from your point of view, but I can't get my head far enough up my ass! Are you finished crying yet, son? Yes. I don't hear you. Yes, sir! Now get to it, soldier! You're dismissed! Okay. Get the keycard. A fresh, clean access card. Nice. Alright, is there anything to look at in here? The bulletin board is covered in notices for the security guards. One notice reads, Attention maintenance staff! In regard to the B2 waste pipes, we recommend vigilant monitoring of their status, as foreign objects are often flushed into the system, blocking the aging infrastructure and causing overflow. On one occasion, poopy stink water threatened to flood the emergency stairwell. If an emergency was to occur, a poo-filled stairway would not be acceptable and, frankly, disastrous. There are, there are more notices on here, okay? Another notice reads, For sale, one-time machine. Used once, in good condition. <laughs> Flux capacitor not included. Call extension 432 for details. <laughs> the post-it note reads, Please don't kill the roaches, it attracts rats. Oh, goody. This guy's in bad shape. So this is where all the action happens. Of course, there's nothing exciting going on while I'm standing here. Okay. I guess let's go.
flashing at us, so we should probably look at it. I'm glad I don't have epilepsy. Oh, okay. Cheap lighting. I'm glad the power is still on. That is either the world's most morbid room decoration or pile of the undead. That would be a good name for an undead movie. Pile of the undead. Nah, sounds too much like piles of the undead. That would be painful and they're grumpy enough already. The person who decorated this lobby has a sophisticated sense of taste. These chairs are nice to look at and seemingly functional. <laughs> Alright. I was thinking there was another hallway over here that I wanted to check out before we go up the elevator real quick. Um, I think, unless that's where we came from. I don't think it is, because I thought we came from the, uh, the elevator, so let's go check this out over here. Alright, well here's a dude. Let's go talk to him. Still open for business? That I am. It's nice to have a new customer. My name's Randy. Malcolm. Good to meet you, Malcolm. Nasty bit of weather we've been having lately. Uh, yeah, nasty weather. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but we're a bit light on stock at the moment. I've been waiting on the delivery for about a month now. Don't know what the holdup is. It probably has something to do with the undead apocalypse. Undead apocalypse? What? What have you been smoking, boy? No, really. The streets are filled with the walking dead. There's some kind of sick joke. Don't you think old Randy would have noticed something like that? How about all the mayhem around here? Randy don't see nothing he don't want to. Or those ravenous animated corpses at that shutter over there. Look, boy, if Randy says he don't want to notice something, he don't notice it. And he'd prefer you didn't bring it to his attention. I understand. Yeah, he, looks like he's got some stuff, so let's ask. About your stock. See anything you like? Later. Yup. That'd be a hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty? Are you serious? Well, business has been slow lately. The world's in the grip of financial crisis. And I'm light on stock. Unfortunately, a man's gotta make a living. So the prices were jacked up a little bit. A little bit? I can't afford that. I don't even have any money. Listen, maybe I can cut a deal with you. I've been mighty hungry lately. Have you any food you'd like to trade? I might have something. Oh, Randy's been craving a hot meal. And I've been a little, you know, backed up lately. I need something with some fiber in it to get me moving again. Bring me something good and the light is yours. Don't worry. Let me know if you see anything you like. Will do. Alright, so... I wonder... It said he needed a hot meal. Your money's always good here, Malcolm. I wonder if he'll take the beans. Probably not, because he said something about a hot meal, right? What would you give me for these baked beans? Hot damn baked beans! Just what I've been hankering for! I'll give you that lighter on the counter there for him. It's a deal. Not so fast. Randy ain't a fan of cold beans. Cook them first and then we got a deal. Alright. I'll be back soon. Ah, oh, well, crap. Alright, so beans, yes. Cold, no. I don't know. I have no desire to hold hands or arm wrestle with the undead. <laughs> Can we get anything out of the ATM? If I had a bank card, I could withdraw some money from my account. Fortunately, I left my wallet at home. Yeah, in hindsight, that was kind of stupid. Well, who thinks that you need a wallet in the apocalypse, for crying out loud? Oh man, I've been dying to go since we got here. Oh shit. 
<laughs> That's awesome. What's your problem? You could have given me fur one. If you gotta go, you gotta go. And now that you hold me with your filthy toilet hands, since when did you start caring about hygiene? Not cool, man. Not cool. Ronnie, there's nothing left of you but a severed, reanimated, rotting cranium. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you'll have to get used to an all-new set of bathroom protocols. You're right. If it's just a tight squeeze down here, you know. Oh, it's not exactly comfortable for me either. Speaking of t tight squeezes, how about that security guard out there, Alice? I'd love to chew on her. Don't you even think about it. But I'm hungry, Mal. So hungry. Just one little bite. No! Oh, jeez. What is that? Wow. That was exciting. He was disgusting enough just being dead and rotten before also being soaked in a variety of bodily fluids. I don't want to touch him. I don't need to drain the dragon right now. Oh, I was trying to get the toilet paper. There's steam leaking out of the pipe in there. If I mess with them, I'd probably burn my hands off. I can't reach up there. And even if I could, I think I'm more than several sizes too big to fit inside. If I touch this shattered mirror, I'd risk cutting myself and getting that blood in the wound. I'm no expert, but with all the undead around, I'd say that would be bad. Um, that toilet paper is a little too moist. I don't want to touch it, let alone carry it around. Um, can we? Uh, we're standing in front of the stupid Drano, or whatever that is. Let's see if we can get that. A bottle of Blamo Drain Cleaner. I thought they took it off the market. When that kid used it to make a homemade bomb. And blew his genitals off. Oh, jeez. I'd better be careful with this stuff. Awesome, we got something. Uh, don't just stand there running the water. Wash your hands, man. Uh, well, I guess it's the apocalypse. Nobody really cares. I hate troughs. Who wants to go and standing shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of other dudes? Are we supposed to look at other stuff? We're shattered and covered in blood. I can't see myself in it. Too bad I could use some grooming. There's a hole in the bathroom wall with exposed pipes spraying hot steam. At least it's not that kind of hole in the bathroom wall. Oh, jeez. That's terrible. Okay. I think we're done in here. How about the ladies' room? I've had enough people use me over the years. I don't need to use myself. Okay. Even though we're in the middle of an undead apocalypse, I still have moral standards. I won't be going in there. Okay. I think that's everything in here then. Alright. Elevator. Ugh. Ugh. What is it, buddy? Ugh. I am the harbinger of your doom. Huh? I will consume your flesh, your minds, and your souls. Come to me, my darlings. Bow before me. The time of human reign is at an end! What the heck was that? I don't know, you tell me! It was scary, whatever it was. If I had pants, I would have crapped them. 
For a moment there, I felt at one with the rest of the walking dead. Dr. Feckenheim said he'd bypass the undead condition. I guess he didn't remove all of it. I'm suddenly feeling an irresistible pull towards the top floor of this building. Weird. Well, we're headed up there anyway. Did you hear what Officer Stewart said? There's a helicopter on the roof, and we're getting the hell out of here. We need to find out what's happening here, Mal. Don't worry, Ronnie. We will. Just try not to freak out on me like that again. It wasn't my fault. Do your best. Um, oh, we need the key card. All right. Brand new spanking key card. Oh, yeah, you like it in that slot, don't you? Nurse's station. Number six. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at the zombie's bum sticking out. <coughs> There's someone out there. Help me, please. Uh, uh. Quiet. There's a bunch of those things in here. And up until now, I've been lucky to avoid them. Because they're either very inattentive, easily distracted, or just plain dumb. I take offense to that. Sorry, I didn't mean any. What do you want, anyway? Did you hear that sound before? Yeah, I heard it. I think a girl was calling out from behind that door. I wonder if she'd taste any good. Shut up! If you need any help getting past those things, just let me know, all right, Ma? Thanks for the offer. And now keep it down. Uh, I guess the doors are barricaded on the other side. I can't get through. The last thing I want to do right now is fondle undead buns. Um, we don't have the crowbar anymore. I don't think any of this stuff is going to help us. Alright. What's your idea then, Ronnie? Uh, what should I do about the undead in the nurse's station? This is just a suggestion, but I'd handle the situation with... Ha! <laughs> explosives! Where the hell am I supposed to find explosives in a medical research facility? Improvised! Remember when we used to go for drives in the country? Blast metal on the car radio? Look for roadkill on the side of the road? And then blow it up with bombs made out of household ingredients? I do remember that. In hindsight, it was stupid, dangerous, and immature. But awesome! Don't forget awesome! Anyway, the four ingredients do a good bomber, accelerant, shrapnel, a fuse, and ignition. All right, I'll see what I can scrape up. This is gonna be so metal. Give it a rest, would you? Um. Where am I gonna find food for Randy? Well, this place does have a cafeteria, and besides that, maybe we can scrape something else up. Like the last remnants of our dignity. After going on an overly elaborate fetch quest for such a commonplace item. <laughs> There's nothing degrading about a good old fashioned fetch quest. We should take pride in our work and even go so far as to find something to cook Randy's food in and make sure it's served popping hot. And how are we going to do that? I'm sure there's plenty of adequate heat sources around for our purposes. Keep your eyes peeled. Alright. Onward and upward, I suppose. Alright, guys. Well, that's all the time that we have for this episode. So, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying seeing... Um, this game and would like to see more similar to this let me know in the comments below and click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed 
So I will see you in the next one. And until then, bye!